Scientists say they've gained new insight into how our immune system works. Researchers at Cambridge University recently discovered a whole new way in which our bodies fight viruses. Normally, we assumed that once a cell's infected, that's game over for the immune system. But what we've discovered is essentially a last line of defense for the immune system um, to kill off the virus before it takes over the cell. It gives us entirely new strategies for making new types of antiviral drug that we just weren't thinking about making before. So what's the big breakthrough? Well, until now, scientists have thought viruses were only vulnerable to our immune system as long as they were outside our cells. Antibodies in our bloodstream attach to viruses, marking them for our white blood cells to destroy. But this new research is that antibodies, shown here in yellow, can ride along with the viruses as it enters the cell. Once inside, the antibodies attract a protein called Trim21, shown in light blue, which take the virus to the cell's disposal system, where it's then chewed apart. What the scientists found is that they could give cells more of the Trim21 protein, and it would actually make them better at fighting off viruses. One researcher tells CBC News the discovery caught the scientific community off guard. It's a real surprise because, frankly, nobody knew that antibodies ever went inside cells. No one suspected until this work that once in the cell, there was another uh, level of attack that used the very same antibodies. Headlines are everywhere calling this research the cure for the common cold, since a cold virus was used in the lab. But while cures for colds and other viruses might be produced in the future, Nature.com urges journalists to be cautious in their predictions. It's possible that ramping up Trim21 could help an immune system battle a viral infection. That may be true, but it's not obvious how one would do that in laboratory animals, let alone safely in humans. So don't abandon your throat lozenges just yet. So what do you think? Excited by the breakthrough or <clears throat> still waiting for a cure? I'm Jim Flink for Newsy.com. Multiple sources, the real story.